once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans, welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba, and today we have the Black Series Darth Vader helmet. Real excited about this one. Okay, it is a basically a replica of the helmet that was used when taking off um, uh, Darth Vader's body when he was, became Anakin Skywalker at the end of Return of the Jedi. So excited to get, a, get started. It is a damaged box. Uh, I will say that when I am unboxing, I certainly enjoy unboxing damage boxes better. It feels like I'm not worrying about any value or anything of that nature. So let's get right to it, because there is some battery operation we have to do. Some of these battery operated uh, Black Series helmets I'm not a big fan of, but we'll see how this one does. Alright, we have our instruction booklet. We have a little protector here. Ooh. Okay, now. This, I will say, the Vader helmet, okay, is a lot bigger in real life than it is often, let me just kind of get everything, than it, than you, than it seems. Okay, the Vader helmet goes a lot bigger. Okay, I'm gonna pull this box off. I'm gonna make sure that we have no other items in there. All right, so, as you can see, it's not just the helmet itself, okay? This thing literally has the whole piece that you can... Get this one. I'm so impatient. I'm just like cutting the piece here. All right, so you've got this nice... It's not just the helmet itself. You've got the mechanisms on the top. You've got some interior stuff on the inside, like. Some wiring, so it's not meant to be just a, a functionally wearing costume helmet, but also meant to have some impressive look to it elsewhere. Okay, so there you go, and then of course we need the part two of the helmet. I gotta say, um, having I do have another Vader helmet that I will show a little later that is um, about the same size, I would say. All right, and this one kind of fits on top. Okay and then you have your helmet. Now obviously it's a flimsier plastic than probably what is used to, what, what is normally there. This does have a nice little cone on there that it seems like it's, if you do it correctly, there's kind of a, there's a yeah, there's a lock-in that locks in and there's some magnets attached to it so to keep it, you know, somewhat sturdy, then it comes off. I don't know if there's any other means, to, reason for that, but now, of course, I said this is an, uh, an FX helmet. It does, in fact, have a, uh, it, you know, a battery pack and therefore has some battery-operated parts to it. So what I'm going to do right now, I think I'm going to take this little guy and move him over here temporarily. Yeah, so this looks like it has like a little, this neck part comes out which makes it a lot easier for one to uh, do. It has a nice little elastic strap. It's just amazing when you think back to how items that used to be have to be made by fans. Let's see if I can get a slightly bigger one of these. Yeah, there we go. Items that used to have to be made, you know, looking at video footage or movie footage by fans are now being mass produced. And it's... Um, Pretty cool. I don't know how the costumers feel about it. I'm sure that um, there's a lot of different costuming organizations, the most famous being the 501st, but which technically I'm a member, although um, I will say, I, I should say technically I was a member. I think I let my membership lapse in the sense that um, I have not kind of kept up with it. Um, I have a great deal of respect for those that have, are continuing members of the 501st. I will say that, oh, there we go. All right, so how many do we got here? Two, triple A. I think that's, all right, two triple A. Um, one goes in like that, one goes in like that. Uh, yeah, the 501st is not just a group that does costuming for just for fun. They actually go out and do charity events, they visit hospitals, truly a, an amazing group, and um, 
I was a member not with a, you know, they're most no, no, known for their stormtrooper outfits, but you can be any kind of Imperial. So I had an Imperial officer uniform that I pieced together and I, you know, signed up at that. And it was fun, it was good. Now, let me see here. Of course, all the time, I am almost, I will tell you that I am Yeah, I can always be counted on putting it in the wrong way. Because that's just who I am. So I will almost always do the batteries wrong, and therefore I have to always reset it. So I apologize for that. And I will check it out again. Unless it's an on off search that I'm not seeing. Funny thing is it's in like seven different languages, so assembly activation. Attach collar. Put on mask. Oh, I wonder if you have to have it on. I don't know, maybe we'll try putting this thing in like this. Maybe it has to be on. As I said, I didn't really purchase this for the electronics aspect of it. I mean it's cool. Right, so we'll try it the other way. Anyway, so the five of first, ooh, ooh, that's cool, comes out like that. And it looks like there's some speakers right in here. So, so you can see it's a few pieces. That didn't break off, that was magnetically sealed. And uh, that was pretty cool. So overall, um, they do, you know, the five of first though has done some amazing things at some amazing charities. So much so that Lucas is actually, Lucas, So much so that Lucasfilm has actually hired, or not hired, but, you know, invited them to take part in events, official events. There we go. Oh, that's actually the, the damage Vader. Ooh, that's pretty creepy. Okay, so, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to try to put this on. Basically just breathing. Let's see what happens if you take the head off. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> now what I don't know is that if it makes lift collar with magnets, FX will play. What I don't know is that if there's actually if it actually speaks. I don't think it speaks. I think it just makes um, it just has the detailed thing. It's it just I don't believe it makes any other than I'll multi piece helmet adjustment. Eh. Yeah. So, all right. Lastly, I'm gonna try to put this baby on, which is a little bit scary because yeah, it's scary because it's anybody who's claustrophobic. I do not recommend. All right. So. I'm gonna do that. So, actually, to be honest with you, I don't even know if this thing will actually fit me. Like, I feel like I might have to be a little bit temporary right now and just. No, I guess it does. I'm trying to also like to see how. Okay, so it does at least somewhat fit on there. 
caught my hair on that one. Okay. Now let's. Oh no. Yeah, oh well. Wow. It's hard to it's hard to maneuver here. <laughs> yeah, not not an easy thing to do. Well, I will say it's kinda help it's pretty comfortable in there. But it's not an easy thing to um, set up. I think when you do this you have to kind of bring the base of it up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. It's not the easiest thing to connect. So what I might suggest might be a better way. I don't know if this will work. <laughs> Come on there, baby. It might be better to try to do it this way. Like actually put the helmet on. Yeah, like that. And then you can... Then you can try to hook it in this way, maybe. But again, it's... All right, working on it. Okay. It's mostly attached. And then... I don't know if you can hear me, but there it is. It's got pretty decent visibility. <laughs> okay. Gonna take that off. And let's do this. Let's. Now go, my son. I'm not all white and pasty and everything else. But the rest of it is pretty there. Not for claustrophobic people. This neck thing is makes it very, very, very scary. Okay? So, but overall, I think it's a really nice piece. It's a great, great display piece. Okay? I just think that is where it truly... Uh, that's where it's truly um, a magical, interesting piece. I'm not exactly sure what this piece does. I'm looking at directions, and I'm really not seeing it too much. So it's hard for me to say. Stand with helmet is fully assembled and display helmet on stand as shown. Okay, well. Oh, I think I know why. Okay, because it does wobble a little bit, so. Display on stand as shown. I think maybe this thing kind of works as a... Yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. It just kind of serves as a... works pretty much on its own. I think maybe this... I'll have to play with this one, but the stand to me doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I mean, I'm sure if you work on it a little bit, it'll be fine. But, um, lifting it definitely from the bottom. If you try to lift it from the helmet, don't do that. It will definitely not be a good thing. All right, so what I'll do is when I do my photos at the end, I will uh, compare this one to the Ruby's uh, Supreme Edition Vader helmet. It was part of a whole costume, which was a beautiful costume. Um, this is definitely more detailed, particularly when you take the helmet off, but, you know, and, and, and including the neck brace on the back, but um, they both look pretty nice together. Let's see, we, we could do a side-by-side -side comparison. All right, so um, overall, great piece. I'm never a big fan of the electronics. I think they're nice. I don't know if it really makes much of a difference. Um, whether you have them or not, um, there's no talking feature or anything of that nature. It's really just the speakers. If there is talking, I have not figured that one out. Um, 
I guess in some ways it's nice. I think that they've kind of pulled back what you can do, the versatility of it in favor of better quality of what you can do. So that's cool. Um, but overall, um, really nice piece. Great for low budget display pieces. If you are somebody who wishes that they could have a Star Wars prop replica, but don't want to pay, I mean, a, a, a helmet like this that is from, um, you know, the, you know, uh, Evanos collectible, EFX collectibles, or any of these like high end collectibles, easily eight, nine hundred, maybe even a thousand or more dollars or more. This item was $98 at Walmart. Um, and you can probably look around and find it for less than that. Okay. Um, so if you're for the budget, budget conscious people that want to have some high end looking pieces, this is the way to go. It is a beautiful piece. Look at it. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And you can display it multiple ways. You can take the helmet off and have it just be the, um, the you know, the interior part of the helmet so you can see all the nicks and crannies. Hasbro does a great job with this. They've, they've been able to up their game with it. So I highly recommend it. Um, they have a couple of other ones. They, I mean, I, I did a Poe Dameron uh, helmet review a few, year, few months ago. Uh, they have some, I think, I think they're either had or they're coming out with some better, higher-end looking Luke Skywalker or X-Wing pilot, pilot helmets. You know, these are great ways, and I love how Hasbro is definitely taking the um, the collectible market and scaling it down price-wise to be more affordable to people like us who, you know, just don't have, you know, an extra thousand dollars in the budget to purchase one prop replica. So, awesome on that. And it has an electron some electronic sound effects and everything to boot. So, kudos, good job. Go out and purchase it if you're interested. If you're interested in starting up a Vader costume, um, this is a great addition. You can buy, you can find the um, Ruby's costume on sale, usually on eBay for, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, not very expensive. It's a good piece, you know, all it's all made of like less, you know, in lesser expensive plastics and whatnot molds um, that you can use and you can build it up. I recommend if you're interested in starting your own Vader costume to start cheap and build up piece by piece as you go. But this, this helmet is a definite upgrade from the helmet that they come with. So, good job with that. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Darth Tuba. Darth Tuba starts with a boxing page on Facebook. And email me at darthtuba77 at gmail.com. Or leave a comment if you have any other suggestions, ideas, things for, ideas for unboxings. We will be back with other episodes coming up. Until then, may the force be with you.